I'm Pat Felder. My husband and I own Felder's Collision Parts here in Baton Rouge. We've been in business for 24 years and we have 25 employees. We sell quality replacement parts to body shops and dealerships, so we're a very vital part of this economy. The legislators that we elect work for us. Sometimes they forget that. We're being battered and beaten by governmental regulations, additional mandates, things that somehow become out of our control. Yet the responsibilities that we have do not decrease. We have seen double digit increases in our health care for the last five years. That's devastating. So here as a small employer, we have to sit and say, what do we do now? We do not want to cut the benefits for our employees. We don't want to raise the amount of money that they have to put into it. But yet, this is right off the bottom line. So you cannot continue to mandate and regulate so that the increases of the employer are outweighing the benefits that we are allowed to give to our employees. We are completely responsible for the lives of our 25 employees and their families. They depend on this in order to have a livelihood. In a small business, if you're selling a product as opposed to a service, the largest expense, of course, is going to be the cost of goods sold of the product. Next in line would be payroll. But then right behind it is the cost of health care. I don't think there's a city in this country that doesn't have a main street. I don't know if everybody has a government street but you'll notice that so many of the buildings, the federal courthouse is on government. Do I think Main Street versus Government Street, who will come out on the end? Let, let me just simply say, if Main Street does not win that battle, then we're not going to have the America that we've, my generation understands this country to be. Groups such as the Affordable Pharmacy Action Network are very instrumental in helping small business understand issues that become very complex, but particularly the pharmaceutical industry. Anytime we have an organization help us carry this message forward, then we very often rely on this type of an organization to help us make decisions. Small businesses are not going to let their employees suffer. They're not going to do it. I have to decide, am I going to be able to provide health insurance for my employees at a 22% increase? Last year it was 18, the year before that it was 13, or maybe I just can't do this anymore. We as small businesses make these decisions every single day. Uh, hey, welcome to Jazz, everybody. Hello, how you